The European Union has imposed asset freezes on top Russian officials, including the chief of the country's Federal Security Service and the head of its Foreign Intelligence Agency. They're among 15 people and 18 companies targeted for supporting Russia's annexation of Crimea. After months of hesitation, the European Union toughened its stance towards Moscow after last week's downing of a Malaysian airliner in an area of eastern Ukraine held by separatists said to be backed by Russia. Most of the passengers killed on the plane were Dutch citizens. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said, There are strong indications that the Russians are continuing to arm the rebels. One of the questions was, how can Russia avoid the sanctions? That is very simple. They have to distance themselves from the separatists. The Dutch Prime Minister announced that the Netherlands is sending 40 unarmed military police officers to eastern Ukraine as part of an effort to find the last victims of the downed flight. Further sanctions are expected to be agreed as early as Monday.